My name is Marty Seifert, and I humbly stand before you to ask for your endorsement for to be the next governor of the state of Minnesota. First, I want to thank a few people. I want to thank my wife, Tracy, and my children, Brittany and Braxton, for allowing me to do this the last nine months. I would like to thank my volunteers, my staff, my lieutenant governor candidate, Rhonda Sivaraja, and, and most of all, I would like to thank the wonderful candidates we have running for governor of Minnesota on the Republican ticket, all of them. Thank those people for running. I would also like to thank Matt Intenza and Mark Dayton for running in an expensive and wasteful DFL primary. Thank you, Mark and Matt. Finally, finally, I would like to thank Governor Tim Pawlenty, who has led this state for the last eight years and who has saved us from becoming a colder, smaller California by vetoing billions of dollars of taxes and spending. Thank you, Governor Pawlenty. I stand before you today as a candidate who lives the furthest from the Capitol building, something I consider an asset, not a liability. As the only candidate today who was born, raised, and educated in Minnesota, my love for this state is fundamental and profound. My parents taught me the lessons that our government needs to learn, like frugality, hard work, common sense, which are missing from the dictionary of government. When my dad died, we found about 100 dusty coffee cans in our basement. Why? Because you never know when you might need to use one for something someday. These are the Minnesotans that grew up during the Depression and built this great state. They never wasted. They saved, they invested, they taught a strong work ethic, and they grew opportunities for every generation of Minnesotans to come after them. As Minnesotans move into the 21st century, we as Republicans need to show them that we have what it takes to lead on issues that matter to this state. The values and principles that I bring forward reflect what the average Minnesotan wants. Opportunity, more jobs, prosperous future for our children and our grandchildren. These are American values and they are Minnesota values. We must start, we must start with the basics and understand that our rights are endowed by our Creator, not by government. There is a reason that the cathedral in St. Paul is just a little bit taller than the Capitol building, ladies and gentlemen, and my faith guides me in the important decisions that I make every single day, and I am proud to profess that. When I... Thank you. When I was sworn into office, I took an oath to uphold, defend, and protect the Constitution of the United States and that of the state of Minnesota, and it is now time for us to hold people accountable for upholding their oaths. <laughs> Drawing support from conservative Democrats and independents, I have always outrun the Republican ticket in every one of my races. Fellow Republicans, it is not just about winning today, it is about winning in November. This election is not about who has the nicest hair. If it is, I will concede to Leslie Davis right now. Fellow Republicans, we have a great opportunity with the disorganized Democrats. They are so disorganized, the left hand doesn't know what the far left hand is doing anymore. I have outmaneuvered Margaret Anderson Kelleher in countless situations, whether it be the budget, whether it be bonding bills, whether it be the end of the legislative session. And there is something that we all know in this room. This state cannot afford Margaret Anderson Kelleher as governor of Minnesota. For far too long, lobbyists have wielded too much power at the Capitol building. 
I have never accepted a contribution from a lobbyist for any of my campaigns, and I never will. I am, I am the only candidate of any party to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not need a law to tell me not to take money from lobbyists. I simply do not do it, because it's the right thing to do. We will prove that we are ready to govern on day one. By cutting excessive regulations and taxes and bureaucracy, we will spur the economy and make Minnesota a destination point for job providers and wealth creators, not an exit point. And as I have led the charge many times before, it is time for fundamental welfare reform. That includes asset testing, work requirements, time limitations, waiting periods, drug testing, and more personal responsibility. I make this promise to you today. If the legislature refuses to pass fundamental welfare reform, I will veto the bill and send it back to the legislature until we get it. We are, we are also choosing the Commander-in-Chief of our National Guard and the head of our Veterans Affairs Department. I would like to thank our active military and our veterans for serving our country. I am ready to lead them on day one. And as I have my whole life, I will stand up for the preciousness of life, both born and unborn. Let me be crystal clear with every single person in this room. I am 100% opposed to cap and trade, any scheme related to it, and if any bill of that nature comes to my desk, I will veto it. And it's high time that government at all levels start enforcing our immigration laws, starting with the federal government. I am the only candidate for governor to release a detailed budget document. It eliminates programs, it reigns in entitlements, it reforms welfare, it reduces the size, scope, and power of government without raising taxes, without raising fees, without using accounting gimmicks, and without using federal bailout money. We must demand solutions, not just rhetoric, from our candidates for public office. The Democrats have all promised us higher taxes and more spending. And sending the Democrats into the state treasury is like sending Bill Clinton into a spring break, into a spring break beach party. There are too many opportunities for the wrong thing to happen. If you bestow the endorsement of the Republican Party on the son of a farmer who had an eighth grade education, it shows that working hard and playing by the rules will yield the American dream. Growing up as the youngest of six boys teaches some humility, and I offer that humility as I ask for your endorsement for governor. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I ask for your vote today. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the great state of Minnesota.